is the 900 correctly priced? <laughs> Right guys, how are you all? So all I'm going to do in this short video, I promise to keep it short, I'll probably waffle on like I normally do, however, um, is I want to put a bit of perspective on the Equinox 900, the new 900. So all the focus has gone onto the Manticore in the last week or so, um, and mine too, to be honest. I've been out using the Manticore and you've seen my videos so far on that and what I think about it. And I'll maybe talk a little bit about the Manticore in a minute, but I really want to focus on um something's been forgotten about a little bit in the last week or two which is the 900 um in the first video i did on the 900 and some of the things i've written about i've made no secret in saying this thing is they've nailed it my lab have absolutely nailed the 900 i really like what it's doing um but there's been that question why would um someone buy a 900 when you could buy a 600 or you, you could buy the 800 or you maybe even own the six or the 800 um and they talked about, well, they've hiked the price up um, and people are saying it's more expensive and MindLab are trying to pull money, more money from the customer. MindLab are a company that are there to make money. So, of course, they want to make money. But I want to put perspective on the price of the Equinox 900. So, six years ago, seven years ago, whenever it was, when I first got my um, Equinox 800, I paid... Um, one pound short of nine hundred pounds for it, um, and back then I was thinking oh, it's quite an expensive machine, um, and it's proven to be proven, proven. Someone will correct my grammar. Um, the best selling metal detector of all time. That's a fact. Now it doesn't matter if you think that your machine's better than it, um, so be it. But it's sold more than any other metal detector. So when you bought that you bought that it came with a stock 11 inch coil um the alloy shaft on it and things now the shaft is something that i've never really liked about the um, equinox and lots of people didn't so they went out um they been lots of other people and bought carbon fiber shafts and all the other things then they bought the extra coils to go with it they wanted the little six inch or the 15 inch or they might have even gone out and bought the coil tech um, and i was fortunate enough to test the coil tech coils a couple of years ago when they came out so 900 pounds give or take a pound, keep that in your head. So you got with it, standard coil, alloy shaft. The Equinox 900, um, and I talked about this in a little review that I did a few weeks back. Um, it's a new machine, it has new motherboard, it has new um, chips, it's got new software. It, Regardless of what people are saying, it's faster, it processes faster, but key to it is, it's a very, very stable machine. It's really nailed the EMI, um, and I did a video just recently where I took the 900 to one of my favorite fields that um, has a foam mast in it. Um, the Equinox 800 was virtually unworkable in that area. The 900 sits there stable, happy as anything, as does the Manticore by the foam mast. So with the new 7, 9 and the Manticore, they've really nailed the EMI and they've really made it stable. So thinking back to the 800, 899, you got it, stock coil, alloy shaft, off you went and did your thing. The 900 comes with the 11 inch coil. It's a stronger coil, hopefully gonna mitigate that problem with them breaking that some people had in the past. It's got the carbon fiber shaft. It's also got the new arm cup and all the things everyone went out and bought um, aftermarket products, stronger arm cups, carbon shafts and all the other things and they bolted onto their Equinox hoping to make it a, a bit more of a a substantial machine so build quality they've absolutely nailed it on the 900 um in terms of its performance it is better than the 800 um not massively you're not going to go out there and go oh my god it's opened up my fields but there's just lots and lots of little things that add up to make it a better machine um and i'm really enjoying it so far it's a really sharp punchy machine and it's everything that i hoped the 800 would have been when it came out okay so it is better in terms of performance so what are we getting for the 1100 pounds so they've hiked up the price by 200 pounds to the 800 now the 800 is still selling um depending who you look at um, around about the 899 mark but a lot of companies um are throwing in a three a free 15 inch coil or something like that so 
you've got a better built machine than the 900 in terms of build quality it's faster um, it's more stable so there right off the bat is a reason for potentially going from your 800 to a 900 it comes with a carbon fiber shaft um, so most of us went out and bought carbon well i think i'm one of the few that just stuck with the old one um, and it's in fact it's sat over there and it's just worn out and tired and wobbly and a bit still works uh, i had a new battery six months ago that's the only thing really that's needed however so the 900 is coming with its carbon fiber shaft it's coming with its more robust coil it's got um, stronger mounts on the on the coil lugs um, and it's coming with a six inch coil so to replace the carbon fiber shaft on an old equinox 800 give or take what 100 130 quid so that's putting us up to and past the thousand pound mark then it comes with a six inch coil um, most places are retail in a six inch coil about the 160 170 pound mark so you're getting that with it as well so it's already matched the price of the equinox if you were to go and buy those extra things for it at the equinox 800 if you go and buy those things for it so for the same price what you have now got is a faster more stable in emi um, and better put together equinox its performance is better um, not so much so that it's just going to stagger you but there's lots of little things all mount up to make it just a better all-round more polished machine and i've mentioned it before it's everything that i wished the 800 was um so would you want to make the jump from the 800 to the 900 if you own an 800 now would you want to push on to 900 um i would say possibly yes purely because your 800 if you've had it for a long time like me might be getting a bit tired you're ready for that next notch up might not quite want to go down the manticore route um because there's a much bigger price separation than those so where am i going with this um i'm just trying to round it up because i'm getting asked so many questions well why would i buy a 900 when i've got an 800 and so on and so forth for these very reasons i've just talked about the price works out to be actually almost quids in now it doesn't come with the wm08 i know this has been a bit of a sticking point um on the new equinox and by that i mean the module the wireless module that allows you to plug your own wired ha headphones into it um the headphones on the 900 are different um they look exactly the same um they call them ml85s instead of ml80s the, the significant difference is they're wireless and not bluetooth so you have lost the option of going out and buying an aftermarket set of headphones that you can just hook up to your machine. Um, so there's the possibly a sticking point for some people, but putting that to one side, everything else about this machine is much better. It's sharper and all the things I've talked about. I really, really enjoy it. I'm going to make time, put the Manticore to one side for a week or two and concentrate on giving you more content on the 900. So there we have it. Um, that's my reasons why I think that the 900 isn't overpriced in comparison to the original 800. I don't think my lab are trying to pull a fast one because when you work out the maths, they kind of sit there in the same price bracket, but you're getting more for your money with the 900. So if you were completely new to the Equinox range and you're looking at it going, do I buy an 800? It looks cheaper. Do I buy a 900? Just common sense maths says that 800 is better right so and with the 600 you can fold it down like that and it actually just got a little bit smaller i haven't collapsed it down but really enjoying it it's really polished uh, really nicely put together uh, chris rogers who's doing the same he's testing this kit both him and i have tried to drown these things um and so far they haven't leaked um, they've upped the ip rating on them as well so they've waterproofed a deeper depth as well so hopefully that's gonna um, sort all that out excuse the state of it but it's filthy but the coil lugs much stronger but this shaft um and it's the same shaft that's on the manticore the arm cup is slightly different on the manticore um but yeah it's absolutely i think sitting in the correct price range for what it is um, and what performance you're getting from it talked about the manticore um i've spent quite a bit of time with this um, and i'm gonna do a little video quite shortly talking about the manticore i've talked about the performance and all the other things and everything about it but there's something with the manticore that really stands out and i really really like and that's the user interface on this thing completely different to the equinox range this is easier and more intuitive to use than an equinox so if you're coming from an equinox and you're moving on to the manticore and you start using the interface on this 
Um, I'm an IT idiot when it comes to going into menus and things. Um, incredibly easy to use. You could give this to a non-detecting type of person um, and they would quickly pick up on how to work their way through the menus and everything and it is quite simple. So out there we've got this, the Manticore, we've got the Equinox 900 and the 700 um, but the two Equinoxes, the 7 and the 9, um, are really, for me, are really cutting it. So if you're wondering about making that jump from a 600 and 800 to the 7 or the 9, I think it's probably um, not going to be an unwise decision there. Fantastic machines. So, any questions about the 900? Any questions about the Manticore? Absolutely feel free to message me, stick it in the comments. I'm still working out... Um, what I like about them both, still using them a lot early days and test them. I've had the Equinox now for uh, the 900 for about a month. I've had the Manticore for a couple of weeks now. So working away with them, finding the strong points. But I'm definitely going to spend a bit more time on the 900 to try and get you more content, more videos on it and all the rest of it. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do um, hit the notification button. Then that way, every time I release some new content, you'll get to see what's going on with the 900. You get to see what's going on with the Manticore because there's lots more videos to come. Um, and please give it a thumbs up because it really helps. Um, it all goes a really long way. Please just keep bombarding me with your questions, um, whether it's via YouTube or all the other um, platforms that I'm on. Um, that's what I'm here for, to help you if you want to try and make up your mind if something's good, if it's not good, what you want to know. Um, and as I mentioned in the other videos, if you want us to do a particular test with the different machines, the 900, the Manticore, ask me. I've got most of the other machines um, that sort of lead machines in the market. So if you want to see some comparisons, just stick it in the comments and we'll do that for you. So I hopefully haven't waffled too much. Just my thoughts on why the 900 isn't overpriced. Um, still expensive wherever you look at it, but I don't think it's too expensive. So take care.